Hello my Zami. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Afi. If this is your first time on my page, don't forget to click that subscribe button and also click that bell to be notified every time I post a video. Today's look is all about the yellow. Yes, the yellow. Oui, the jaune. 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 Hey, jaune. Uh, today's look is all about the yellow and I'm really happy to do this look for you guys. I actually woke up and I was like, I feel yellowish today. We're gonna do the yellow, 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 yellow. I've never done this before. This is uh, outside of my comfort zone, but I hope you guys like it. Once again, please click that subscribe button and also leave a comment before you leave if you think I did this look right. Okay. Okay, okay let's just get started with the video. So for my face before I start, I set my face with a primer. Normally I use Milka Magnesia as a primer, but I've been listening to you guys, you know, giving me tips on how to make my makeup set all day if you have oily skin. And I've been trying out those tips and there's some tips that my skin is like, no, how? what you doing? What you doing? What you gonna do? Like, we ain't used to that. We ain't used to that. What you trying to do? So some of those, those tips didn't work out, like setting my face with a powder after I apply a, a primer um we were, we're, we're not doing good on that part but i did decide to go back and try the backup primer which is what i use on my face uh, it's not the regular backup primer your girl got a sample okay i'm not spending 50 dollars on a primer until it works for my face a lot of people don't know that you're allowed to get samples before you buy the actual thing which i highly recommend you guys to do that before you buy a a product especially if it's a review on YouTube try out the sample first before you go buy out a full product so with me I decided to go get a sample and I got the backup sample old girl put so much in it it might last me a whole year if I take care of it <laughs> but um for my face I'm not gonna put foundation on first I'm gonna let this primer sit and look kind of dry on my face it looks very dry right now and for this look i wanted to do something different something outside the line and we are going to do something outside the line okay and i'm going to try my zulu palette by juvia's place and today i'm going to do the yellow okay i know i said i don't do yellow but i'm feeling yellowish today i'm feeling like a sunshine so we're going to do a yellow eyeshadow she said, welcome to your sweet and princess. She's sweet and butterfly and I just want to fly. Spread my wings and fly. Uh, for this look, I'm going to first set my eyelids with um, one of my go-to concealer. And it's the LA Girl Pro Concealer. You feel that bone over ça, no? You feel that bone over ça? Voila. Get this, warm it on my skin before we put it on. I'm gonna apply. I don't have my foundation on first. It's very important that I drag my concealer outside of my eyelids so I can even out that that skin tone right here when I do apply foundation because if I apply my eyeshadow before my foundation and then I put my foundation on, my skin from this part right here looks uneven. So I like to, it's a new method. I like to drag my concealer out of chair. Parce que c'est cette look ici, hein? On va s'arrêter comme jamais avec ça. I'm going to set this with my found, with my eyeshadow, my baking powder. Pardon, vous dites mes amis, et ça vous savez, boy, vous aider vous ma casse. Ça va te aider si tu fais comme ça parce que je vais faire la même chose. Do the same thing. Just set this part. And while this is setting and like doing extra stuff, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my eyebrows. Um, normally I don't always start with my eyebrows first. Je sais pas pourquoi, mais j'aime pas commencer avec mes mes tours, tourcils. No, that's not sourcils, sourcils. I got this in France. Now I know what eyebrows are. I call them the peau de poil, but today we're gonna call them the sourcil. Okay. I don't like to start with that first, but the fact that I, you know, I'm gonna do my eyeshadow first, why not start with the sourcil? The only thing I don't like about backup primer 
and it's, it gets pretty dry. I've tried it before. I don't like how dry it gets because it's pretty darn flaky. But for my eyes, my saucy, look my eyebrows. I'm gonna use my NYX. Y'all know I love my NYX, okay? Y'all know I love NYX. NYX and I we like best friends. I'm gonna use this on my eyebrows. I do need to get my brows done. So book the nigga, eh? Book the nigga. Good man, we are yard there. Good time, that from a BNB. Non, be my different. You saw the different. Vous même regardez, je suis un peu différent avec mes sourcils. Okay, I look different with my sourcils, my eyebrows. What I'm doing here, I'm, I'm freshening up my LA Girl concealer on my hands before I put it on my eyebrows. And I'm going to line that up, just clean that up. I did a big mistake. I shouldn't have set my eyelids with the baking powder first because it kind of, girl, girl. Yes, that's you. That's you. Yeah, that's you. Looking like an upside down Nike sign. You go, girl. But I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have set my eyelids first with the baking powder. I should have first, you know, did my eyebrows and then did my eyelids. I don't know what I was thinking. I felt like I was somebody doing all this. I did this right too. I said, "Girl, we looking like somebody." Yes, you. Who's that? That's me. Who's me? Affy. Effie who? Elizabeth girl. Yes. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to just set my, I mean, uh, clean up my eyebrows. This time around, I'm back with my Juvia's Zulu palette. I'm going to use the yellow. Yes. Cha-ching. We're going to use it on the eyebrows. You are correct. You win a nothing. And I'm going to do tap that excess uh, powder off by doing that little tap tap I did at the beginning and girl look at that look at that yellow that yellow girl listen yellow on a brown skin girl looking like a snack cha chain girl look I look like somebody after you look like somebody Affy girl you look like somebody oh my gosh that yellow itself is so beautiful look I'm gonna let y'all I'm gonna let y'all look at it real quick look yes you Affy 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 girl, you look like somebody. I'm sorry, you was calling my name. Shine bright like a yellow. I'm gonna bright up like the sun. We gonna be the first black sun. Who that is? Who is you, girl? Just one little touch of you already feeling different. That's what I'm talking about. Right now, what I'm doing right now, right now, is I'm, girl, you look good. I am tapping the rest of that all over the lids because it's not going to be like you starting at the crease. That's not what I was going for. I want it to be all over the eyes. I want it to look like a sunflower, okay? You know how like, the sunflower has like the, the yellow stuff around it and then they got the brown in the middle? That brown is me and the yellow stuff is eyelids. No, okay. But yeah, I switched my brush. This is still the makeup makeup no it's bh cosmetic makeup brush and i'm going to use that teeny brush just to go in with it just to fill out the to make it you know more popish like to go in on the small what am i trying to say to go in with the crease and like you know to bring out the color even more to the part where i want the color to pop more which is my crease and yeah we looking good we looking good we looking good and now i'm gonna go in with my ellie girl pro concealer and i'm just gonna it's not a cut crease i want y'all to be like you're doing a cut crease you're doing it wrong this ain't a cut crease i'll call this a cut crease i just wanted to add i guess you could call it a cut crease it looks like a cut crease so i guess we're gonna say it's a cut crease but it's not a cut crease uh i'm gonna cut my crease because <laughs> it's not a cut crease but i'm gonna cut my crease and i'm gonna put it on I'm just going to put it right there, you know, just just exactly how it looks like is what I'm doing. And I'm going to go in with my, I forgot this brush, or I definitely forgot the brush. And I'm going to use that yellow and I'm going to try to apply it on the concealer just so I can make the color stay because it was coming off a little bit. And for me to get that color, it's like yellow on, yellow on top of yellow. I wanted that yellow on top of yellow. So I added that the same Zulu color to the cut crease 
and um i kind of messed up but we were actually we didn't mess up i didn't like how it wasn't like popping popping but it did the job but it wasn't how i wanted it to be you know but we still we still look cute we still look cute look at that yep so with that i decided to add my trophy i found me a trophy trophy wife girl because i am a wife i'm a wifey material you know <laughs> i'm gonna add that to my cut crease just to make the yellow pop even more i don't use this uh trophy wife highlighter as a highlighter because it's kind of yellow and i lost the receipt and i'm too lazy to go back and have them you know look me up on the computer so i decided to just keep the highlight this highlighter been in my drawer for almost four months now and it's doing a good job i like it we looking cute girl yes flip it Mm-hmm. i see you and i'm gonna go in with my eyeliner this is irrelevant i don't think you guys want to know the name it's just a random drugstore eyeliner um it's doing a job though it's doing a great job i just don't know the name of it because it's just irrelevant i'm gonna put that on my eyelids i try to do the whole wing thing i'm not as good i'm not a winger you know i'm not good with the wings so i try my hardest to at least make it look cute um this whole wing thing we haven't perfect we haven't you know got it to that perfect place yet so with this i'm gonna use my la girl pro concealer and the color corrector uh one and i'm gonna color correct underneath my eyes i haven't been sleeping because i was in paris and my time is just off ever since i got back to the state but we're getting it together so i'm gonna cover up the black under eyes dark circle girl you are black what are you talking about the dark circles with that i'm gonna apply my um bobby brown bobby big b i'm gonna apply my bobby brown foundation to the eyes i freaking like this foundation it is cute your your blender beauty blender is dirty yo you see that my sponge is dirty mind your business uh, that was kind of rude i was just reminding you that your beauty blender is dirty gosh maybe you should clean it up maybe i wouldn't be saying it's dirty but anyway i'm gonna blend myself away with a new beauty blender that i found in the drawer that was actually clean and um get the neck secure the neck okay and because i got darker i didn't want to like od my uh highlight underneath the eyes so i just went back in with the color fawn underneath the eyes to keep give it that you know calmness and we're just gonna go in and blend away and blend away and blend away and blend away off to the sun you and i skipping on sunflowers because we are bright and yellow and I'm going to use that leftover and um, blend underneath my cheekbones, which was what I did. Yeah. And then I'm going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup. Use that excess, you know, blow it away and put the rest. I kind of went OD on this because I get oily pretty fast. With that, when I do my Sasha Buttercup, I don't like the yellow uh, tone to it so I like to go back in with my MAC NW44 pressed powder I believe and just to tone that color down so when I do take a picture with the flash it doesn't you know hit me like yo what the beep you know yeah so I like to do that and then um yeah it's basically like a quick and and there you go step I'm gonna go in with my contour I did a big mistake with this I like to keep my mistakes in my videos so people would know like hey don't do it um, with my contour I should have contoured before setting my foundation my before setting my uh, highlight underneath the eyes but you know I got a little bit too happy and I did that anyway which kind of destroyed my contour because I was fighting with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder at the same time. It's best to do it when your eyes are still creamed up so it can like blend really well. But hey, it's okay. So I'm going to go in with this uh, contour palette. I don't know where I got it from. I think it was from Amazon. And yeah, and just set my cream contour with that. Huh? 
Yeah, I like to make sure that when I contour it, my face look very powdery. I set that first and then I go back with the job. I am going to get that yellow from the Zulu palette and I'm gonna do the under eye. Tie kome, joli fi en toi. Muso sbeta bango from my bien, mon ami. I'm gonna get that trophy wife by ski. On est vraiment, on est, oui, somebody in life, hein? Tout ça, moi, c'est qui toko. So, ça qui toko, faut ça la boye. So, que ça li boye, mi bali, ba ou ta la yo, ba ou la, eh! Fallait que je me marie avec elle. Elle est trop jolie. Let me stop. No, tu vas arrêter les bêtises. But now, I'm gonna go back with my MAC um, bronzer. And I'm just gonna bronze a cheek, you know, get a little cheek with it so I can be sleek and cheek with it. And I'm gonna do that with my nose. I, for some reason, I like bronzing everywhere. Like, I, I'm, I'm a bronzer person. With this, I'm gonna hit it up with my Makeup Revolution uh, blush palette that I got at Ulta. And I'm gonna get that blush popping, get the cheeks going. Get that cuteness going, and then we gonna hit him with the light. You gonna hit him with the light? Yes, baby. Hit him with the light. Hit him with the light, baby. Hit him with the light. I'm gonna go in with my makeup map. Uh, dang. My Maybelline. And I'm gonna hit them with the light on the nose, on the side. Side to side. And now we're done. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you like my voiceover. Some people say I talk too much. But hey, what you doing on my page, you know? What you doing on my page? It's a tutorial for a reason. Finish it up with the NYX. And I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and um, leave a comment. Bye, guys.